Also, we're a fire team again. I think next time I'm going to switch up my loadout, though. I'm probably going to go machine gun. Let's go. Our Barrows. Thank you so much for stalking me here on Twitch, fam. I appreciate it when people stalk me on Twitch rather than in real life. Because when I'm... Uh... Oh, God. When I get in my car and I start driving down the street and suddenly there's a car behind me that's like following me a good distance, it kind of makes me nervous, man. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. How will this turn out? That's the real question we got to ask ourselves here. Oh man. The shotgun is pretty damn powerful though with that range. It's kind of ridiculous how far you can kill people with it. Especially how you can randomly get a headshot with the spread sometimes. But it's so damn good. I feel like that might be a meta. Oh. Oh god. New predator, I think. Gonna heal up here. I could have probably waited out a little bit longer, but I wasn't gonna take a chance. Because that homeboy gets on me, it's not a good time. You ever had someone follow you in a car like me? I can't say. So the closest I've ever had to being followed in a car was by a cop. And that was because when I first moved up here, my uh, my license plates were for a different county. And if you haven't noticed from my stories, my county is famous for a lot of drugs. So they would constantly follow me around thinking I was gonna like, you know, do some nonsense along those lines. Did homeboy run off, or did he just hide behind this tree up here? He just hid behind this tree up here. What a meme. Bruh. No! I was dumb. I went off after him. Rip. I should have played that safer, but I didn't. Because I thought they were behind me, bruh. Oh well. But yeah, dude, just... I'm happy to say... I've never had to deal with any of those memes before. Most of the thing that's ever happened to me was like being dos you know, online. But, uh... What was it? I'm trying to think about what I'm going to eat tomorrow. I know that's kind of random, but I'm thinking... Maybe I should get... I'm going to cook that chicken breast in my freezer. And then afterwards, I'm going to make some wraps out of it. They need to buff the Predator TBH. Honestly, if they made him, I don't know. Hey man, we're coming to get you. No worries, man. Thanks, guys. I'm here. No worries. I got you. That's what dope. You have a lot of viewers, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Marf raided me earlier, actually. If you guys know who that is, so that's kind of what happened there. But yeah, fucking uh. 
I feel like if they made his attacks a little weaker, but like a little bit faster, like say it took him four hits to down somebody, and then they made him a little bit more tankier, I think the Predator would be fine. But then again, I think the way they want you to play him is they want you to play him like a gorilla guy. And also, we're playing the balanced Predator right now, so I'm kind of curious to see how their tanky Predator would work out. And also how their scout Predator would work out as well. Because it'd be really interesting to see the difference between those two there. I really want to see how the different Predator models play out. All right. Predator is blasting some people. Reinforced. All right, here we go. We going in, baby. Thanks, guys. Welcome back, man. Appreciate the love. Oh, yeah, get it. Uh, let's see here. Sounds good. Over there. We need to find him and put him down here quickly. Or not. I don't like being in the front lines, but you know, it's fine. Sometimes you just gotta get smacked around a little bit. And Kamikaze Dolphin, bro, thank you so much for stalking me here on Twitch, fam. I appreciate it when people stalk me on Twitch rather than in real life, because every time I wake up in the morning and I go down to check my mail, and I open up my mailbox and there's just mail inside there instead of like somebody waiting for me, it definitely makes me feel good. So thank you so much, fam. I appreciate you. Open the safe. Let's go. Biometric scan. Shit. Stand by, Voodoo One. Technical says we can bypass the biometrics. Take those items here. Oh, damn. Oh, we gotta destroy these generators. That shouldn't be simple enough. like how it's different stories now. Hey man, I always try to switch it up as best as I can. That's usually how I roll. Oh god damn. Kofin. I hope I pronounced your name right, fam. Thank you so much for stalking me here on Twitch, fam. I appreciate when people stalk me on Twitch rather in real life because oftentimes when I'm just chilling and suddenly somebody comes up and they decide they're gonna start putting their hands in my hair, it makes me nervous. So thank you so much, fam. I appreciate that. Uh, Predator's up here. I saw his little laser sight. <laughs> All right. And Topo Hat. Thank you so much for stalking me here on Twitch, fam. I appreciate that. I mostly appreciate it the fact that you're. Oh, God, excuse me. I s totally slurred my words there. I appreciate the fact that you're stalking me on Twitch rather than in real life because oftentimes when I decide to go to bed late at night and somebody suddenly is in my bed or underneath it. It makes me nervous. So thank you so much, fam. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm surprised. He took quite a beating there, but that's fine, I suppose. God damn. 
Oh. Hello. Predator is here, though. Took his helmet off. His mask is gone. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. No, we got we got to defend it. Just yeah, just kill all the enemies and we're good. He's dead. Let's see what we got here. Predator down already? Yeah. Uh, you just gotta defend it for now, Dark. Uh, basically, once we eliminate all the targets, uh, the game will end and we'll get bonus points depending on how damaged the body is. So right now it's in pristine condition, which means we'll get a ton of points and stuff if we manage to get it out like this. There we go. Good stuff. GG <laughs> guys, GG. Thanks man, appreciate it.